Welcome back once again. Hate to do these, but sometimes the work and the word needs to get out some way and somehow. And if we keep quiet, these dog lovers, dog nuts, and dog owners will take advantage of it and be reckless. In the news recently, coming in out of Norway, title is called Small Child Dies After Dog Attack in Brummendale. This article can be found on norwaytoday.info. Uh, there's no date. Oh, the date is, uh, it was written June the 5th. 2021 article says according to the police a ha- a one and a half year old child died on Saturday after what witness described as an attack by two dogs so the title says dog attack I think it's only going to be one but the paragraph says it was not just one dog but two dogs went up against a toddler, a defenseless toddler. The child was visiting close family. So here we go again. Child visiting close family that owns the two dogs. So this is two dogs again. This is the third incident where two dogs attacked babies. Two dogs attacked babies. The child was visiting close family that owns the two dogs when the incident happened. The Inalandit Police District wrote in a press release, the police were notified of the incident just after noon on Saturday. The dogs have been requested to be killed by the owner. If it was, I want to just shoot them themselves just so they can be cleansed of this dog nuttery. And hopefully they don't get another dog or pooch or puppy. They should stick with a fish is my recommendation. And the police wrote that they would ensure the request is carried out. The relatives of the child are in care of Ringseeker Municipality's crisis team. The police have started an investigation to get an overview of the course event. So again, they're going to waste time on the investigation, discover like what happened, and they're going to realize and probably say they don't know when, again, they don't want to admit that dogs are dangerous. No one should be owning dogs. Dogs should not be with children whatsoever. The police have started investigating the overview of forensic. So that's basically it. A little short blurb of the incident. So once again, we have a family dog, relative dog, attacking and killing a baby. This is the third incident in the last two weeks. Or do you have two? It didn't state the dog. Um, it did not state the type of dogs. But I think we all know what kind of dogs this was. So the finger, again, is pointed at the parents of the child for bringing a child into a house that they know that they know has aggressive, ugly, dangerous dogs. So they took the child from their home. They knew they were going to a place that had dogs, aggressive dogs. They probably already knew the type of dogs. And they brought the child inside the home where the dogs lived. So now the baby, the child is in the territory I don't want to say, okay, fine, the territory of where the dog sleeps, eats, 
barks, growls. Um, it'll bark at mailmen, bark at people who pass by probably. So the child is in this place and the parents show no regard. They probably show no regard thinking the dog would never bite, never attack. And it happened. The relatives responsible for the dog probably said this would ne they would never bite, they would never do anything like that, and they allowed the dog to roam freely in the house near the child. The child was probably sitting there looking at the dogs, and then it happened. Two dogs, two dogs attacked a toddler, a baby. Hasn't even lived yet. Barely lived a life. I think the worst way to go out of this realm or this world is losing your life because of domesticated dogs. That is the worst way to go. Because these dog lovers are going to say the dog was nice and sweet and they never bit anyone and blah, 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 and then you're going to have uh, dog nuts defending it. It's the worst way to go out. For anyone, by the hands of dog, because whatever the circumstances is, people deliberately go to pet shops, shelters, wherever, they take the dog up, pick the dog up, take the dog up, and they place the dog in the home, thinking... This is going to be a good dog. You're training it. You're giving it treats. It's nice. You give it hugs and the kisses and thinking nothing. This dog will never, never, ever hurt a single person. After the countless story of dog attacks on children, countless stories of dog attacks on children, they ignore it. They ignore all that. They ignore the news, ignore the facts, ignore the stats, and they place a dog in their home knowing that someday they're going to have children over. They knew, they knew, they knew someday we're going to have children over for a party, for a gathering, etc. And the child is going to have to adapt to the dog and blah, 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 blah. And then it happens. The relative, close relative, probably close relative that, that they really loved and respected, comes over with a baby. And they place the baby in the home. And it happens. The dog decides to attack an innocent baby. All babies... All toddlers, all children, maybe all children to an extent. I know there's some children, maybe eight when they're eight years old and older. But I believe all children are innocent and should be looked after and should always come first before any, for, before a dog. What the parents should have done is stay away from a home with two dogs. They should have stayed away because they knew that this person had two big, ugly, aggressive dogs. They knew that. But they weren't thinking properly because they are they just don't know better. And they, the parents are the one, really, that allowed their own child to be taken from this realm, from this earth, from this world very, very soon. An innocent child. All because of dogs. This could easily be avoided. But once again, these worthless mutts and these mentally ill owners think it's okay that it's never going to happen to them. It's only when it happens they will say, I didn't know what happened. It was never like this before. This is worthless mutts. Just remember, it is okay to hate dogs.